Okay, uh, this uh, was what I called the tell um, when I tried to get a police report. Um, and I found out that my calls were being run on the non-emergency number and maybe the emergency number through Monroe County Police. Um, so I'm just going to play this without talking. Yeah, hi, Aunt Barbara. Um, I, it's, it's hard to send um, big files, so I just wanted to send you an audio clip um, of today, Friday, um, trying to get a police report about the crime. Nine, so nine o'clock this morning. Police here in Rochester. I want you to listen. Yeah, I need a police report for my car. No, I don't. You, you want to talk to me through the window? Hang on. What's your badge number? Oh, that makes her mad. Ma'am, hang on one second. I'm coming out to talk to you. We are in Babylon. She just want to talk to me through my window. Because she can't hear me or see me. To do a police report about a car accident. Yeah, hi, ma'am. I was in a police accident. I'd like a police report on my car. Okay. Hello, sir. And I called in the job ticket. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I, I, I thought I could talk to you through a window. No, see see you. Why would I think I could talk to you through a window? I don't know. My car's right back there. Okay, when was the accident? Uh, it was Wednesday, about 9.30 in the morning. Why are you I called it, well, Today's I called Friday it morning, okay, and I called it in morning. Thursday. Why did you call it in? It happened on Wednesday, right. Tuesday. No one was hurt. That's my in burglar alarm. It was a fender bender. It happened Wednesday morning. Oh, around 9.30 in the morning. Okay, so what time was the accident? The guy who I rear-ended reported it happened at midnight. Hang on one second. But I have pictures. I can't do anything about the burglar alarm. Um... But I do have a picture and videotape evidence of this occurring Wednesday morning when the guy reported it, called it into the police through his insurance company. It's happening at midnight. Um, so when I get frustrated, I start to lose my ability to communicate. And that's what happened when Monroe County starts handling Rochester's phone calls. Because a lot of people, I think this shit has happened to. Daniel Prude may be one of them. But let me pick up with the police officers from Rochester? Hang on. I don't think this is at all how cops act. But this is what was making me think all cops acted like. But I stepped back and really fucking saw what was going on. When these two ladies came out, and then when I tried to make a call and spoke to another guy, I saw my Google Mini light up when I was trying to call the media, and I immediately knew it was connected to my phone. I disconnected it, and right when I disconnected it, I got through to a Rochester cop. So back to the two female police officers. One was African American, heavy set. She's going to be the screamer. The other one was a female, white female, riding, driving the car. Mm, is that standard operating procedure? I'd like to get a police report about the damage to my car because he claimed I left the scene. Okay. Right down there, Bay Street, Goodman. So you, so you have. I have his insurance card. He never gave me his driver's license. And that's where I knew the guy was. I knew he was fucking playing it up when he cock blocked me trying to go left and then right, locking up his brakes in the middle of the street. Um, and there was a car coming the other way. Uh, and if there wasn't a car coming, I would have gotten around the ass clown. But if I tried to get around this ass clown, I would have taken myself in another car out. So when I got up, I was kind of like, I already knew what this guy was doing. And I started videotaping it immediately. And I knew what had happened. So when he didn't want to give me his driver's license, oh, but he wanted mine. I already knew he was full of shit. And this was a scam. And then he said he was going to call the police. 
I'm like, cool. I pull my car over, and this is all on video. Put on my flashers. Go over to talk to him. Well, he calls the police. He says, police, police online. He hands me his, you know, he gives me the, pulls his phone to me. It's his son. So I already know these people are full of shit. I'm probably getting money um, for what he did. So when I call it my insurance company, the next day on Thursday, and they tell me this guy called it in at midnight, boy, am I pissed. So when I can't get a police report about it, I got really pissed Thursday and really frustrated Thursday. Same thing with the kids doing dirt bikes or driving dirt bikes doing wheelies down my street. The reason this shit ain't getting shut down is because Monroe County and the fraternal order of police, bad guys, in my opinion, and you fucking cops. You probably know what I'm talking about. Even you guys who joined the fucking fraternal order. Well, they blackmail you, don't they? So, I'm going to pick up um, the Monroe County cop. Or whoever they are. Driving a Rochester Police Department car. Coming to my house. And telling this to me. When I want to film them or no i didn't even want to film i just didn't want to go outside um and i think this little uh my security alarm i think this is a positive noise to wake people up so let's play it again Okay, uh, the audio on my phone just died. I'm going to stop it, upload this, and I look forward to speaking to a Rochester uh, Police Department from here on out. Now that I know, I need to call 911 in non-emergencies and be very careful when I call it in an emergency. Because these clowns will send bad guys out to make the situation worse. Because I got a crack house across the street from me, and I think it's being run under the wing of the Monroe County and Rochester Police Departments. Thank you.